This is something interesting for you guys. Certification dilemma. Can you really skip CCNA for the cloud? CCNA is like the OG certification, but does it still rock the cloud world? And what's the deal with VMware certifications? You know, back in the day, they were the next big thing. Yeah, so I'll start with the the CCNA piece. Uh, here he, here's the deal with CCNA is it's it's still a solid certification. And anybody who told me that they want to be a network engineer or a cloud network engineer, I would say like CCNA is an awesome choice just because it it's it. And I haven't taken the CCA in a while, but it was the first certification I ever got. And again, these fundamentals that I learned more than a decade ago of routing, I st are still very helpful for me today. So I would not discourage somebody from doing a CCNA, especially if uh, in one of two scenarios, if you are already in tech and you want to start specializing in networking, but you don't know a lot about it, it's a great way to just get a deep dive on the fundamentals. Or if you want your pat, your entry to technology to be via networking, I would actually recommend th that certification. Um, because I think oftentimes, like it's interesting, one thing that's shifting in cloud for networkers is in the traditional enterprise world, because we're not always like when you're configuring like a corporate network, um, the, I wouldn't, you usually wouldn't define those networks as like mission critical. So because of that, you can actually hire more juniors to work in those type of environments. That's why you'll, you'll see network technicians that are running cables that eventually are configuring switches. And next thing you know, they're network engineers. Um, the cloud's a little different. Uh, usually if something's running in the cloud, it's, it's mission critical. And so there's less room for somebody that is inexperienced, but wants to break into tech via networking to start as a cloud network engineer. Usually those are experienced network engineers that have already uh, had some, some, some reps. So all that is to say, CCNA is a solid cert for those who are trying to break into networking. But if you aren't focused on networking and you were, and you told me that you just want to break into cloud or into tech in general, I would probably guide you towards a more generalized certification to start with. Right now, for me, the, the kind of the CCNA of uh, 2023 for me is the Solutions Architect Associate at AWS, because um, while it's not focused on networking, it, it is that it, it gets you enough technical depth to start exploring cloud. And what I think it really does that's incredible for new learners is it exposes you all at once to like Server. 10 or 20 different major areas. You learn storage, you learn servers, you learn Database. networking. And yeah, so summary, CCNA, great if you want to specialize in networking and break into cloud or break into the networking industry. However, if your goal is to just go into cloud, I would probably start with cloud, not networking. Okay. Though, good point, but I still insist that there's this associate level, a counterpart of CCNA, but more of load balancing and application delivery controller. It's called F5CA or F5 Certified Big IP Administrator. I really believe it's a better certification for cloud learning compared <laughs> to CCNA. Because in CCNA, although you're right, it's a good foundation, but you work with ports, we, you work with links. Uh, versus F5, you work with how you control the application with the use of load balancer. Okay, and you're correct. The F5 Big IP is really related to AWS ELB. Thoughts? That's right. Uh, I I agree with what you said for sure. I think if you th if you're wondering what like on-premise or, or traditional network technology you can learn that's highly transferable to the cloud. Uh, F the F five example. I don't I don't know that certification, but I know what F five does. I worked on load balancers for a while. Layer seven networking, like when you're talking about connections and load balancing to applications, yes, that's highly transferable to the cloud because people run F fives in the cloud, and people also run um, application load balancers and other great load balancers. So so yes, I, but I think my my perspective here is really mostly informed by who the individual is and what their goal is, because I don't, and, and, and you, I, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this piece, but I don't necessarily think that, I think if you're 
wanting to break into cloud and learn cloud tech, yes, that's probably a decent path. But I think if you're you have no experience, I, I don't know many people that have broken into networking via load balancing. Most people I know that break into networking break into networking via running Switch. cables, switching, and then running. they get into load balancing like a few years later. So I I, I think I, I agree with you for folks that have like a foundation already. But if you're trying to get your very first job in networking, I would think CCNA is probably the best option still. Uh, it, that said, if you don't, if you're not trying to get into networking, you just wanted to get in the cloud, skip the CCNA thing and just go headfirst into cloud. All right. Okay. Last question related to CCNA. What percentage of the CCNA curriculum is related to AWS? Give me an estimate. Uh, my, my having taken this certain 10 years, I'm sure it's changed a lot. My best guess is maybe probably about half, right? Ah. The, the, the half that focuses on layer three, the half that focuses on subnetting and TCP IP and like ports and protocols, that's very relevant. The half that you might want to throw out is uh, if you're thinking about cloud is that that focus on switching in layer two. Um, and you know, it, it, it's... Yeah, and, and the CLIs, right? Because the CLIs, I mean, I think if you if you don't know CLIs at all, it's great to learn any CLI, whether it be iOS or Linux or or a, a AWS CLI. But yeah, uh, that particular CLI is syntaxial. Very. It, hopefully, you won't run into that in in the cloud too much. 